In this video series, we're going to talk about 24 different situations on a table that require 24 different shots. And today, we're talking about this situation. As promised, today we're talking about a 9-ball situation. We are on the 3-ball and we have to get all the way down table to the 4-ball. The problem, the huge problem that we are facing with this specific shot is that we have too little angle on the free ball and this poses a lot of problem. So I see a lot of beginners do the mistake that let's pretend we were on a two ball, that uh, if they have to play the two ball into the corner pocket, a stop shot would actually be perfect to come naturally down for the four. But what many players do is they just play it in, trying to get a bit closer to the free ball and then they end up straight or with this tiny angle that we have. So let's show you two options that we have on the shot, how to get down table for the four ball. First of all, it's very important. We need a lot of spin, so we have to adjust our aiming because of the deflection. I'm going to show you my first option, which is not my favorite option, but actually you could play both. Depends a bit on personal preference. So the first option we have is to play low on the cue ball with a ton of right spin. This means the cue ball comes back, comes to what's here, and then the right spin grabs and brings the cue ball down table to the four ball, probably here, and then go towards the four ball. This is a difficult shot, but the time will come when you're facing the shot. So when I'm aiming the shot, because of the right spin, I'm actually aiming just a bit thinner. This means I'm aiming the free ball towards here because the deflection pushes the cue to the right. So let's show you how this shot would look in action. And this turned out perfectly. Now let's set everything up again. By the way, you can get the whole setup for every shot that I'm playing uh, as a module for the ICA training system in January and also on my Patreon page. The link uh, is in the description. Okay, now let's show you my second option, which is basically the same route, but just mirrored. So here we were going this path and towards here. Now we're playing with high and left. This means the cue ball will go this path into what's here. So it's the same. We're using a lot of left spin to bring the cue ball from this rail, open the angle, bring it down. So if I'm using left spin, I have to aim a bit fuller. This means I'm pretty much aiming straight. The cue ball is pushed to the right and I'm able to make that free ball. It's a bit dangerous. If you add too much left spin, the cue ball maybe scratches. So don't do too much, but you will see in the GoPro and also on the cue ball how much I'm adding. Of course, it depends a bit on the rails. So let's show you how this would look. And we got a very, very nice shot on the four ball. So as you can see, you have two options to play the shot. It's personal preference. I like the follow shot a bit more because it's a bit more natural in my opinion. All right, let's go for the run out. Just trying to get pretty straight on the five ball. Could either pass the nine ball here or on this side. I think I'm going for this side because uh, I have just a bit more margin for error regarding the angle. Uh, because if I'm going this path, you see it's easily to get too short. So I'm playing this with high and right. Use both rails to go towards the five ball. Didn't get straight, but that's actually okay. Trying to get a straight shot on the six ball to just stop for the seven ball. So all I'm doing is rolling it in with maximum left spin. That way I can hit the five ball a bit fuller. Five ball is thrown to the right. And I can hold the ball a bit easier here. As you see, the right spin pushed the five ball to the right. And now we have a straight in shot on the six ball. Just checking the angle. 
to stop in the cue ball, then I can play the 7 and the 8 ball into the side pocket. I have to elevate a bit, so I have to make sure that I'm not adding any spin on the cue ball, because then the cue ball will curve. nice here I'm actually trying to get straight just uh, drawing the cue a bit back to what's here Okay, almost straight. Just checking the straight line, which goes all the time when the nine ball is on the spot. The straight line is from the corner pocket to the side pocket. So I'm trying to bring the cue ball somewhere on this line. And we have a perfect and very, very easy nine ball here. Just stopping the cue ball. And that's it for today's episode. A really important shot that we talked about in this episode. So keep in mind, if you have to get from one side of the table all the way to the other side of the table, then angles are really your friend. So if you have the chance, leave a bit more angle on the free ball because that way you can naturally go down towards the four ball. And we really had to force the cue ball with a lot of low and right or high and left. And this just makes the shot so much harder. All right, this is uh, the shot that we're going to talk about tomorrow. A very interesting eight ball situation and I'm really looking forward to hear your comments on this shot that we're going to play. So tune in tomorrow. And if you like today's episode, then please, as always, consider to like, comment, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. A huge thank you, as always, goes out to my sponsors, to everyone who's supporting me. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, see you tomorrow. Take care.